All right, so last time when I made a video, I just ran, ran uh, I think it was like 11 miles, and that was the first time I'd done that since running the half marathons, and so didn't really do a good job of explaining how I've been training. I just wanted to go over that real quick. Um, so I started off, a little bit of backstory, I started off doing thinking I could qualify for the Boston Marathon by doing a 12-week plan, you know, uh, Hal Higdon or something like that, and uh, just putting in a time, and it'll, uh, it would happen, and uh, I tried that twice, and I've got injured twice, <laughs> so it's those, um, I think it was just pushing too hard during my weekly runs, and the uh, um, the Saturday runs were just so, the Saturday long runs were just so important that if I had missed one or I wasn't feeling well, it was like, it, it just ruined my training for that entire time. And so uh, I realized that I'm just going to have to slow down, take my time, run slow, um, just put in the time, start focusing. So, so I started been focusing on uh, weekly mileage now as opposed to uh, my time per run and my pace and all this and that and I did that before my last two halves and uh, I accomplished my goal my goal for the first one was to be under two hours and be able to run that mo the following Monday and get it. I was running about 30 miles a week at that time and so I wanted to run after the marathon, the week, the week after the half, I wanted to be able to run my 30 miles, and I accomplished that goal. And so now I'm the I'm trying to, and then I ran a month later, same thing. I think I got up to around 35 miles before the second half, and then that was right before Thanksgiving. So I my uh, I stopped training pretty much after that for about a month, and then that. My last video was my a long run of coming back and trying to get back to that 30 miles per week. And I think it, it's... Uh, so right now, I just ran 30 miles last week. I'm going to run 30 miles this week. It's going to be hard, though, because I am going on vacation with my wife uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And so I'm going to heavy load the front of the week with mileage to still so where I can run three or four miles while I'm on vacation and still get to my weekly uh, weekly goal of 30 miles. So right now, my next half is the end of February. Right now it's the 1st of January. Um, my goal is to be at 40 or 45 miles before this next half which I think would be it's very doable right now like I said I did 30 last week I'm gonna do 30 this week and probably 30 next week and bump it up to 35 for about three weeks and then bump it up to 40 and so I'm just gonna keep on going like that until I can do probably 50 miles a week and then that's when I'll start really training for um, a full marathon Cause right now I'm just focusing on a half. So that's kind of my goal. Um, yeah, like I'm focusing on running halves right now. Um, kind of my, what I was doing before those two halves that I just done a few months ago. Um, and I'll probably stick with this until I get up to around 40 miles and then maybe I'll um, talk to a coach or something that can kind of uh, help me make more improvements, but for right now, this is working fine for me. I mean, I'm only doing 30 miles a week. It's nothing, it's nothing crazy. Um, I've been, so my week goes like this, Sunday, rest day, always a rest day. Monday, always a recovery day, and that was hard for me at first because there's a running group down the down the street for me that runs on Mondays, but I found myself just being too competitive and trying to keep up with people and I'm running a pace and I'm supposed to be recovering, but I end up running like a eight, eight minute miles or eight and a half, which isn't fast by any means, but it's fast for me. And so 
I just have to, I've noticed if I run on my own, I can keep a pace. So I just relax, keep it easy. Like today I ran six miles, just kept it easy, around 10 minute miles. Um, got to think about a lot of the stuff. It was a good run. Um, so that's Mondays. Tuesdays, usually what I'll do is I'll do a two mile warm up and then I'll do some kind of workout. I've been doing uh, two mile repeats. Um, for my uh, workout and I got up to doing like three before my last half um, I'll probably keep doing that I've got a hill that I do uh, 400s on um, that that's a good workout that I've been doing and I'll probably do like just like a 5k sometimes like do a mile warm up and then run a 5k for a workout but that's Tuesday and then the Wednesday again I do usually a shorter run than Monday, but another recovery run. So like I have a flat three mile loop that I run 10 and a half my pace, something like that. Um, and then those are my set in stone. Well, and then Saturday I'll do a long run, which I won't usually want to be at least 10 and a half, uh, miles anywhere up to, I think I was doing 13, around when I was running those halves a couple of months ago, I probably, hopefully I'd like to get up to around 15. Um, but yeah, so that's Saturday and I'll usually do like a tempo run, um, towards the end of my long run. So this last Saturday I ran 10 and a half minute, 10 and a half miles. And in between mile eight and nine, I just ran the fastest mile as I could. And I got down to, I think it's 710 pace. So that was really fun. It's kind of like get your heart rate going, fun. That kind of, uh, you like when that workout feels good. I like doing something like that, or I'll do like a tempo run towards the end. Um, just makes you feel like you actually ran fast because sometimes it wears on me running slow all the time. But yeah, so that's Saturday. And then Thursday and Friday, Depends on how many miles a week I'm doing. Depends on how many miles I did for my workout and stuff. Usually I'll do uh, one of them be three or four miles and then I'll take the other one off. Or maybe I'll do three miles and then six miles or whatever I need to do to accomplish my weekly goal. Um, but yeah, that's, I've been, that's what I've been focusing on is uh, just running, running slow and getting my miles in getting my running economy up, um, I think that that will help me see, realize my goals, um, not quicker because the, I, uh, these are going to be long-term goals, but, uh, I have short-term goals lined up with it, but this is, this is, uh, my short-term goals are going to line up with getting those weekly miles in, and I think that that's going to help me accomplish my long-term goal. Um, but yeah, that's, a uh, that's how I've, I think that I'm going to accomplish my goals as opposed to 12 week programs where I am doing it and got to get my pace down to where I can run, reach my goal, time goal of the marathon or half marathon. And then I miss a Saturday and then I'm trying to make it up. And it's just, it's so stressful. And I, I end up getting injured every time. And this is the way I, I haven't gotten injured. I'm taking it slow. I'm letting my body adjust to the mileage. Um, I only do one day a week. I'm doing speed work, my, my workout. And so the rest of the days are easy runs. I mean, it's just really, it's just a lot easier and I like it. Sorry, this is so long. Um, apologizing to myself since I'm going to watch this a bit. Um, yeah, I will keep you up to date on my vacation runs.